all right there are times you want to blend two different backgrounds together how do you do that now let's assume that on pinterest let's go and get two different backgrounds and you want each of these backgrounds to blend with themselves so assuming you have um this background all right and then you have another background let's say like like um this let me download this one and you want both of them to blend together how do you do it how do you achieve it now if you take it to pixel art for example and you want to try to blend both of those backgrounds together you're going to have an issue so i'm bringing the, one of the background here if i click on this now i want to cut this part of it are you getting me i want this part of it to be i want to cut this part so let's assume that this is one of the background right let me still crop it here so this is one of the background right okay now i want another background that is different like this now and i want both of them to blend so what what is interesting me is this guy this um stuff at the front so if you look at it now it's not going to blend you can see the demarcation is showing that these two things <laughs> they are coming from different family so how do i blend it correctly okay so that's what i'm going to do right now so i'm going to go to ps touch ps touch ps touch is a very very nice application ps touch cc i'm going to click on the plus I'm going to click on the photo li uh, library. I'm going to click on photos. So to assess your photos from your phone. So let's use two backgrounds here. So I'm going to use this one first. Now the background be imported. What are we going to do next? I'm going to click on this icon here. This guy. Okay. I'll click on it and I'll click on this guy here that says fade. All right so click on fade and now you see it now now the the bottom part is not transparent and the top part is still there i can drag it if i want to remove everything but i want it to be very very faint like this this one is okay faint like this if you want it more you can take it up like this all right but i want it like this all right okay now that you're done click on a shake like this all right now there's something else I want to do. I'm going to click here like this. I want to add another design now on top. So I'm going to click this. I'll click on photo. I'll click on photos. I'm adding another layer now. So um, I'll bring this one. So I want this guy now to be added. Um, okay, let's let's use this guy. So I want this guy to be added at the bottom. So I'll click on this. Now I'll click on that guy again. Click on fence now i'm going to work on the background the bottom this way like this or instead let me use let me use, let us use something else let's use let's use another one so i prefer this one here let's use this one so that will take the bottom part now so select it click on this click on fade now what we are removing the we'll move the top part sorry like this we'll move the top part so we'll drag it in like this drag it in okay all right okay let's push it all right so you see now so this this has made me to blend both background but let me do something next um check it oh no, go back um, go to this one you can see the both background click on this one click on this select it and then see how you can drag it all right and there's a mistake i made but this is it the background will be blend it has blend now so it's me to save it save it different like that to do everything here on ps touch now see the result now i'm going to save this all right i'm going to click on share click on save to gallery i'm going to click on png all right because there's a transparent background there i will select this guy and i'll click on save okay 
Now, let's go to Pixel Lab. Now, when you come back to Pixel Lab, and uh, we can bring in the design like this. So, for me, I'm going to bring it like this. Are you seeing this now? Now, notice that the background, there is this transparent uh, pixels. So, I'm going to click here like this and add. If I add this, there's a problem. So, this is what we're going to do now. Bring the design like this. Like drop it in like this. And then come here. Sorry. Yeah. And drag it to the end. So watch if I click the back here. If I click here, I can change it to yellow or any color of my choice. And it will reflect at the at the middle there. Are you seeing that now? So I have successfully blend both backgrounds together to form a single background and this is very very easy so both backgrounds have been blended together remember it was remember it was two it was two different design before two different um um acts so you see but i've blended them together to form one how do i mean let me show you this one i took the bottom part here which is the one you have at the bottom here let me bring this one to, the, to this so i took the bottom part here all right then also this one or you okay this one this guy here i took the top part as you can see and then i blend both of them together to form one that is how you can blend two different backgrounds using ps touch i hope you got value from this video so apart from that you could also blend images just like the previous video i did you can check my youtube channel to get it so you can blend images so what you want to blend images the same way the same pattern the same procedure the same steps very very easy all right so don't forget to go to my youtube channel nia Muda tv all right so go to nia Muda tv right here and subscribe to this channel where you get so many tutorials that will help you and if you are new you can get these resources they are very very massive all you need to do is to watch it get the password and you'll be able to access it these three resources are very, 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 very important. I will see you in another tutorial. Thank you for watching.